when I was uh, talking to one of the students in the transportation design room, he was asking me, you know, just a general sense of, is it worth it? Then I told him, yeah, it, it's, it's absolutely worth it. Coming here was a great surprise for me. This whole structure that we have here at Cincinnati is fantastic. It's great to see all this effort put together to achieve maximum opportunities, all the opportunities for the students. In an environment like this, it's completely open-minded. So we get loads of fresh ideas, new point of views. These students will be the professionals of the, of the future that will be designing not only our cars, but the whole uh, future of the automotive industry. So it's really nice. Never underestimate the power of going down and interacting with the students. So we got some really good, good concepts and good ideas. Uh, and, and they went in kind of, you know, full guns a-blazing as to, they, they were unencumbered by, I guess, a bunch of the other paradigms that we have uh, as, as, as industry. And, and they went in and, and, and gave us some really good, kind of good insights and good foresights. My company, Pininfarina, is a consultant for uh, Ferrari. I'm surprised because uh, I saw a lot of uh, technologies present in the, in the school, it's incredible. Bringing in Maurizio is, is very exciting. The fact that people like him have interest in what we're doing and the school is taking steps to bring people like Maurizio in, it's, it's a really good investment for the school and it's going to fuel a lot of unique work coming out of the students that go here. Yeah, I'm very excited about it. <laughs> we actually bring Jaguars, Ferraris and Maseratis we parked them right in front of the school so the students can learn from the actual models and have a conversation with the designers who actually designed these cars. I remembered coming through this school on a high school tour and stumbled through the Rapid Prototyping Center and saw the car design team, the students, cutting out these models. And I remember as soon as I saw it, I was like, what, what is that? I, I had no idea that there was a school that would provide a project like that. So it's really important for a company like GM to have people from outside of the normal perspective um, so that we can come up with unique solutions and, and you know, challenge what's currently out there and, and figure out what the future is going to look like. Since leaving DAP, the jobs that I've gotten um, have not felt like jobs. They felt like adult day camp. Coming from a context where you're in a full university, where you interact with people who are not design people, where you uh, get a little bit more critical thinking skill, those things stand out to somebody looking at a portfolio. A lot of times we hear what's happening in the industry and the techniques that the, the masters use, but now we actually get to see a master like do his work and learn from him. It is nice to have like kind of a reality check like coming from the outside world in the industry like yeah that looks good but like that would never sell or like yeah sounds great but is that actually practical? Kind of crazy it's like meeting your idols because growing up you always it's this industry is something that you want to do from the time that you're a little kid. It makes me proud of our program. It makes me confident in our program, and it's great to see the way that we're evolving and getting better. When I was a student, this type of things were not possible. It was um, unimaginable for me as a student to kind of be able to interact with designers such as Maurizio Corby or with uh, Cesar Pieri, who work for all these amazing companies. and. Now, when I'm actually in a position to do something about it, I want to give to these students everything that I could never have myself as a student. In a way, that's amazing because it humanizes the successful person that we've brought. And students can say, hey, I, I can be that person in a few years. All I have to do is do discipline, hard work, quality, 
and I'm sure our students will be there. And it's thanks for people like, like Cesar that come and share their experience and their knowledge that it's going to be possible for some of these guys to do great things. It's so cool. <laughs> I don't think a lot of other places that have like, yeah. industrial design schools get those type of experiences. So. Uh, one of the reasons I chose this school is the co-op program and the direct link to industry and the fact that they're willing to invest in the time and energy to bring in people like that and the fact that, you know, it goes both ways, that people in the industry see the value of working with our school really shows me that I'm in the right place to help me segue from college into the professional world. It kind of like lights a fire for you and makes you like really excited about what you're doing, people that are we look up to that we see their stuff online, we're like, oh, I'd love to beat that guy one day. It's like, oh, he's here on Thursday. <laughs>